Well, to football now, al Ahly Benghazi are set to lodge a formal complaint with CAF over COVID-19 tests. The four-time Libyan champions are accusing Orlando Pirates of tampering with COVID-19 results ahead of their clash at the weekend. The team says the results were tampered, resulting in several of their players not being able to play. Pirates won that match 3-0 to boost their knockout round chances. For more on this, we're joined by Ghanaian football journalist Nuhu Adams via Zoom. A very good morning, Nuhu. Great to have you on the show. I mean, there are reports of al Ahly players testing positive ahead of the Pirates match in the CAF Confederations Cup. And the club is said uh, to lodge a complaint to CAF on this incident. What's the story here? Uh, well, um, I think few hours to the kickoff game between Orlando Paris and Ali Benghazi. Um, five players and assistant coach of Ali Benghazi tested positive for COVID, meaning they, they were not eligible to play in the game. So um, they had to sit out of the game. After the game, uh, on their return to Libya, they got to Egypt, tested again, and the results came negative. So um, Ali Benghazi feels that um, something probably might have, might have happened in South Africa. Someone um, might have tempered the, the, the test results of, of their players and assistant coach. So um, they, they are launching a complaint to CAF for CAF to investigate whether um, the test results that came out in South Africa are true or not. So um, we'll see how far... Um, CAF will go about this, but um, COVID has been uh, um, a, a, a very disturbing tool for many clubs in Africa. Many clubs um, have, have been affected by COVID, and we have a clear example of what Ali Benghazi are saying. Um, Al Marek of Sudan um, accused Simba SC of campaigning their COVID test results. They made a complaint to CAF. After a couple of investigations, they said the results that came out in Tanzania before the game between Simba AC and El Marek were correct. So um, probably, yes, Ali Benghazi making a complaint does not make them um, right. If Having you know said that, Mr. Adams, those are very serious allegations, of course, against the Lando Pirates. And as you've mentioned, it is not the first time that CAF will receive allegations like the Sudanese side. Amarik lost their case against the Simba t a team from Tanzania. Uh, do you think the Libyan side has a stronger case than Amarik this time around? Well, um, I can't say they have a strong case, um, but I think CAF, CAF will, will have to investigate. But one, one problem is that um, due to the COVID restrictions and COVID testing, CAF told most of all clubs that traveling for an away game, you have to get to the destination very early so that you have the opportunity to test twice before the game. So let me use Ali Benghazi. If they had come to South Africa earlier, they, when the test results came that um, four or five players are, have tested positive and the coach is also tested positive, they would have had another opportunity to test again. But in this situation, they didn't come to South Africa early, so the only test they did had the results coming out and five of the of the players and the assistant coach tested positive. So they have they had no other option than to go ahead with the game without those who tested positive. But right. the scenario of this COVID is quite confusing. You can test positive today, the next few hours you will test negative. So wow. it, is, it is very, very confusing. Yes, indeed, Mr. Adams. What is likely to be the punishment by CAF if pirates are found guilty? And uh, do you see this have an impact on their qualifications overall? Well, um, looking at the, 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 the rules and regulations, um, if it is true that uh, Orlando Pirates tempered with the results of, of, of the Ali Benghazi players, who probably CAF will award that much to um, Ali Benghazi. But I don't see that happening. I don't think that the doctors in South Africa would be unprofessional to tamper with the results of, of, of the Ali Benghazi players. The results will be correct, and I believe the, the results will stand. Orlando Paris will go ahead um, with their qualification to the next round of the competition.
Mr. Adams, thank you very much for joining us uh, from Ghana. Speaking about this big story, of course, coming out of the African continent, uh, well, of course, our brothers there um, in Libya just stating that Orlando pirates possibly might have falsified um, the COVID-19 test. We'll get, bring you more updates on that. Nuhu Adams, the African football journalist who joined us uh, just moments ago from Ghana.